iOS 17 is just six months away from the time we'll most likely see it at WWDC. Every June, Apple shows off the next version, so they're getting it ready right now. Despite all of the issues we've had with iOS 16, Apple is always working on the next version. Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and iOS 17 has some changes that I'd like to see. Let's go over all of the top changes I'd like to see and you'd like to see. Now, with iOS 16, we did gain some nice features, things such as live activity, Activities, the dynamic island, other little features and more with different iPhones. But there's a lot that's still left to be desired. And the first thing I think I hear every single year is why doesn't iOS have split view or split screen on iPhone? We already have it on iPad. This is something that makes a lot of sense to bring to iPhone. Go into split view, view multiple apps at once. You can even bring in other ones, slide over and more. So if we want to bring in maybe... Oh, let's bring in files over here. We can just bring it over to the side. And then also if we want to pop this out over to slide over, we can. So it's really nice. We have these multitasking options. However, we don't have it on iPhone. I'd like to see iOS 17 bring that. We've had it on other manufacturers' phones with Android for a long time where you can have maybe YouTube at the top. You're texting someone at the bottom. This is something that I think Apple should definitely bring. One thing I think we're going to get for sure based off of laws that Apple has to comply with by January of 2024 is an open app store or the ability to either sideload apps or load apps outside of the app store with a third party app store. So currently Apple closely controls all of this, make sure it's fairly safe, make sure there's no viruses or anything like that, and then allows you to install those apps. It's been very difficult to get them installed outside of the app store. And this time around, they're going to have to allow Allow this it looks like so with iOS 17 I would expect that and whether or not you like this I think this is something that many people would like to see we've had it on the Mac for many years you don't have to do it you can use the App Store but have the ability to actually install something outside of that could be pretty nice for certain types of apps one of the other main things I think a lot of people want to see is more customization to the home screen. This year we got customization to the lock screen with widgets and more live activities and everything else, but we don't have the ability to put apps where we want them. If I want to put podcasts here, maybe have a line on the right. I can't do that. I can only move them around and have them reshuffle everything. So I still have to follow what we've had since the original iPhone OS. So with iPhone OS all the way up to iOS 14, 15, 16, we still can't do that. Of course, we do have widgets now, but we don't have the ability to fully customize this the way we'd like to. And that's something I think more of us would like to see. Also, many of us would like new icons. Apple has adopted this flat style since about iOS 7, and many of us would like to see some sort of combination of not just the flat style, but maybe skeuomorphism in a way, or neomorphism brought back to bring more depth into the icons. There's some concepts here you can see that look pretty nice. You may or may not like them, but I think it's time for a design change overall, just to add a little bit of fresh paint to what we've got with iOS. That's something I would definitely welcome. Also to go along with the home screen is widgets. Widgets are great, but they're not interactive with iOS. We thought Apple would do that with iOS 16. We don't have interactive widgets, meaning we have no music widget that we could have here on the lock screen and fully interact with. So for example, if we go in and create one, if I just put a widget there, you'll see if I play this song, I can go into it, play a song here from this album, go back home, it will show me that it's playing from here, but I can't interact with it. There's really just the option to tap on it and have it open up, and it's telling me its overall status, but having maybe a volume button or something else, some different options within a larger widget would be something I'd welcome. I think a lot of people would like that. One recent change that Apple has made that I'd like to see them modify again has to do with AirDrop. If we go into our settings, go to general, go to AirDrop, we now have everyone for 10 minutes. This really needs another option just for everyone. If I want to leave this on all the time, that should be up to me. Everyone for 10 minutes is supposedly going to give you more security, but these things are used in multiple parts of the world to transmit information, whether or not they can gather outside of their government actually seeing what they're doing. So this is something I'd like to see not only everyone for 10 minutes, I'd like to see everyone also, and then we can switch it to whatever we'd want. 
Also wallpapers is something I hear almost every single video that people want to be improved, whether that mean new wallpapers or just customization of them. So maybe we go and create a new lock screen within these options. We have this nice new interface with a bunch of options, but we're missing all of our old ones. If we scroll to the bottom, we have the option for collections, but they left out a bunch of them. We only have recent wallpapers with a few that are sort of retro wallpapers. We don't have any of them from iOS 16, 15, 14, or any of the old ones that some people would like to use. Also, for the most part, we don't have many options for dark mode wallpapers. So we have the depth effect. Sometimes we have dark modes here, but it's not really the way we had it before where we could actually switch between light and dark mode wallpapers or have them change based on the overall light and dark modes of the phone. So if we're in dark mode here or light mode, we would be able to see different wallpapers. A lot of people want that to be brought back. And so if we close that and then we go back to settings here again, go over to our wallpapers and then below add a new wallpaper. We have the same interface. So we're really not gaining anything here that I think a lot of people would want keep the same interface as far as the wallpaper picker, but bring back those older wallpapers and add some new ones as well. I think the next thing is very important and you can't actually see it, but that's stability with iOS 16. It's been fairly unstable overall for quite some time, not only since the betas in June, but ever since. And this is seemingly getting more and more unstable. We've had more and more issues, whether that's with the iPhone 14 pro and pro max with lines across the screen. We've had issues with crash detection, optimization, there, little bug fixes here and there, not only for the latest phones, but just iOS 16 in general. And I think Apple really needs to focus on stability this time around iOS 17 can have less features if it's just super stable, like some of the older experiences. When I used to cover iOS six and older versions, I really don't recall anyone saying that they had issues with stability. They just wanted more features and wanted to know how to use the device. Now I hear more and more this crashed, that crashed. I have this bug and I think Apple should really focus on that. Another thing that really hasn't improved over the years, but I wish it would, it has improved in some ways. So I should be fair there, but is Siri. Siri used to be one of the leading or really the only leading voice assistant. Then Google voice came around or Google assistant came around and it just really is much, much better. Now there's some reasons for that, but Siri, I think could be greatly improved. My family, my daughter in particular has said that with the latest updates, she believes Siri is getting worse and worse. It's done on the phone and oftentimes it has to either search or it doesn't know the answer. And sometimes it does. It's just very inconsistent. And I'd love to see that improved. Another thing I'd love to see improved is camera controls. Now the camera in general is a little odd on the iPhone 14 models where it can sometimes over process it. We don't have HDR options to turn it off. I would like a pro mode where I can turn off HDR, completely change the way I can expose things, make it more like a pro camera app. Give us a pro option built in, or maybe a separate app. If you want us to download it that way, also redo this so that all the options for the camera are here, instead of having to go into each individual setting within the settings app for photos or camera, put them right in here so that we can quickly get to those features. So if I switch to pro, well, I don't want just pro. I want the whole pro set of features. We have ProRes, of course, and all of these features are great. You can use third party apps to get those sort of results, but sometimes I just want something that's simple and easy to use. So I really wish they would bring that into the main camera app. Now there's a couple other things worth mentioning. And one of them we've been hearing for years that it would be redone and it still hasn't. And that's the control center. Some people really like this control center. Personally, I don't really like it that much. I've gotten used to it, but I remember the old one that used to be at the bottom. I prefer that greatly over what we have here. So I would love to see Apple bring that back, give us a different control center, or maybe something that's just maybe more organized, maybe something I can arrange these icons with instead of having them sort of set where they are. So that's something I would love to see. Yes, you can arrange it a little bit within your settings. So if we go back, go to our control center options and we go down here. Yes, we can arrange them by sliding them up and down, but it's not exactly what I mean. I want to be able to do it right here, arrange it exactly how I want. So I'd love to see some improvements to that in the future.
And then finally, improved notifications. This year, Apple changed it so that it scrolls up from the bottom. I've heard numerous complaints about this, and many people want this changed. I actually don't mind it as I rarely use notifications. They pop in my, on my screen and then I look at them there. Sliding up doesn't bother me so much, but I know why they did it because you have different interactions at the top. But I wish they'd at least give you the option to bring them down from the top or up from the bottom and give us more sorting options in general. If we go into settings and then go back to our notifications, they've added quite a few things with different morning summaries and different things like that but some of the overall options are a bit odd. I think more sorting options or flipping it top to bottom would be much, much more welcome, just like you can do with the search bar on Safari. So all of those things I think should be included in iOS 17. It's just sort of a wish list or a hope that we get some of those features. Of course, in the next few months, we'll probably hear more and more and more as leaks get out about iOS 17 and what to expect in general. I'd love to hear from you what your top feature request would be for iOS 17. Would you just want stability, split screen, nothing at all. Just give me the stability or do you want a bunch of features? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.